Here's a video about how to put together a print and play. There's many different ways that you can do it and many different tools you can use. These are just some things that I like to use. You'll need something to cut and something to glue. And if you want, you can also have some sleeves to make your cards look even nicer. The first step is printing. You want to make sure you have good quality paper and you're printing at high quality. Most print plays you can print double-sided. Make sure to check which pages you're printing and if they need to be double-sided or not. If you're going to use sleeves, you can print one side and just put them together in the same sleeve. Otherwise, you can print them front and back on heavier paper. For my printer, I've noticed that printing the front, then refeeding the papers in the trays for the backs will make a much nicer alignment for each page. If you hold a page up to the window, you can see the alignment through the page. You can see this is a couple millimeters off, whereas this other page, it's practically perfect. In our print and play, the back does not have the grid across and the cards have white, so that even if your print is a few millimeters off, it does not really show on your cards. The Cake Sire pack also comes with the rules booklet, so if you want to put that in the box, it's very handy to do. You cut it the same way, cut it across, the back side does not have the grid, so that way it will be clean even if it's off slightly. Then make sure you have all the pages in the correct order, fold them in half, Make sure to crease the edge as much as possible and staple the back. You may have to fold up the side so that it fits in the stapler. The regular print and play also comes with a box. I like to first score the dotted line using the back of my X-Acto like this. Uh, then cut the outside either with scissor or an exacto. And because I've already scored the page, everything should be easy to fold. Fold along all the lines before you put the glue on. For glue, you may either use a glue stick, rubber cement, or spray glue. I like to use rubber cement because I find it has a nice hold. Cut a little bit on this tab over here and on the back where I will press it. It has a more long lasting adhesive if you do both surfaces. Then put glue on this other tab here and a little bit on the inside and we're just going to fold that over to hold down the tabs. Then do the same thing for the final sides. There are many different ways to do print and plays and everybody has their own 
favorite tools. Just use whatever's best for you. Do the same for the bottom of the box, then your box is complete.